Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for November 20th through November 26th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. This is not a private reading. This is for hundreds and thousands of people on a general level. So if it doesn't resonate with you, then it wasn't meant for you. And there they are. I had pre-shuffled this deck, so I was only going to shuffle it for a moment anyway. <clears throat> I will zoom the camera in once I have the cards laid out. Looks pretty good. All right, the basis of your reading is the Seven of Swords. Okay, so that tells me there's some deceit or a feeling of deceit this week. Either there's some actual deceit or there's a feeling of deceit. Um, and it feels like you may be even moving away from it, okay, because we have the Eight of Cups right next to it. So somebody who's watching this may be leaving it behind. They may be you know, heading towards their own happiness, just leaving it behind. The decision may come abruptly. I mean, it may be have, have been in the works for a while, but for some of you, the decision may come abruptly where you're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm walking away from this right now. So that could happen for somebody. I feel like you are heading towards love. All right, so congratulations. We do have a strong um, emotional connection here. You're receiving love from one direction or you are offering love. It feels like you're following your own path. You're just believing in yourself more and more every day. You're releasing a, something that was very, very heavy, weighing you down, something that wasn't serving your purpose, I, I bringing you conflicts, okay, conflicting thoughts. I think that you are, have released that, and it's bringing you um, more hope, and it's bringing you more love. I think you're concentrating on the future. You're letting the past go. You have taken action. You know, it's not like you're procrastinating any longer. It's time you're doing something about it. You're, it's, you're taking the practical approach. Um, and I think it really is a time to celebrate for you because you're feeling so good. You're taking action. Your willingness to change is evident this week. Okay, you are moving in the direction of your wishes and your dreams and your path. You're honoring yourself. Okay, there's no more illusions, there's no more pretending, there's no more confusion. And if there is, it should be dissipating. The clarity should be coming to you. Okay, because all the work that you have put into something is starting to pay off. Okay, it is. Um, I think the conflicts that have been going on or are going on at this time in your head, they will be going away because I see that you are going to get the clarity that you deserve, that you need, that you want, and things are going to be changing probably very, very quickly. Now, this is supposed to be a love reading. Somebody could be deceiving you or you could be deceiving them because that is the basis of your reading. All right. This could be you deceiving yourself, okay? Deceiving yourself because, you know, you want this love. I see this love. You're being offered the opportunity to the opportunity of a resurgence of a relationship or new love. You are being offered this opportunity, and by you not accepting it, you're deceiving yourself. So there is some deceit here. This magician says you're becoming aware you're becoming aware that your needs matter the most. Right here. Okay. This this is becoming aware. This one is too. But this is also about you following your own path. Listening to your inner guide. Believing in yourself. 
okay? So for many of you, this is a week of letting go of deceit, whether it's you deceiving yourself or somebody deceiving you. It's letting go. This is the Eight of Cups. Letting go and celebrating your new found you. Okay? Now I'm going to start shuffling this deck. Remember not to lose faith, okay? I see some of you may have lost a little bit of faith along the way, and perhaps it's being restored. Don't lose faith in yourself, okay? Remember to keep it going at all times. Have faith in your journey. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your beliefs. Don't doubt yourself. Love yourself. Do what you need to do for you, okay? There could be some legal matters at play. I'm not sure how that fits in with somebody, but I'm sure that it does. All right. And in the end, just be honest. Honesty prevails. Okay. And remember that your future matters. So I think that many of you have taken action in regards to your future. You're realizing that it's your future at stake here. Okay. In the end, your hopes and wishes will be fulfilled because of your willingness to take action, your willingness to follow your path. There's that deceit again. Same card, different deck. So there's definitely some deceit here. Now deceit can be in many forms, okay? It can be cheating, can be lies, can be trickery, can be sneakiness. You know, it, whatever it is, it's not good. It's not good. Somebody is trying to get away with something, okay? And you cannot ignore it. You may have been ignoring it. And so for many of you, you've been deceiving yourselves, okay? Many of you have, not everybody. For some of you, well, you have been deceived. Okay, or, or you know, for some of you, maybe you've deceived somebody else. I don't know, you know, but deceit is here in a very big way, and you cannot ignore it. This card, this Two of Swords, says you cannot ignore it. You need to listen to your inner guide and follow your path, believe in your beliefs, take control. Seriously. You need to take control. With the chariot and the emperor, you take control of this situation, whatever it is. This is the judgment card, okay? This right here is karma. It's an awakening. It's a wake-up call. Love yourself first. Put yourself in the driver's seat. You are the captain of this ship. Okay? You are the captain. You matter. It's your path. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop ignoring. Stop procrastinating. Accept the truth. Take control. Master your emotions and get moving. Stop procrastinating and get moving. If you have any doubt, if you have any doubt about your direction, Listen to your inner guide because your inner guide is giving you the answers that you seek, okay? This card can also signify somebody from the other side. Somebody from the other side could be tr on your they could be trying to help you. They could be trying to give you a message. They could be trying to push you along. Look for the signs. Look for the signs and do not deceive yourself. Okay, it's time for you to take the practical approach for you, not for anybody else. 
it's time for you to do what's right for you okay it's time for you to do what's right for you act now if you haven't already and when you do your hopes and wishes will be fulfilled do not procrastinate Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay, so let's get the other cards. We're going to get one of the angel romance cards, and we're going to get one of the angel guidance cards. Oh, and look at that. We got two. Huh. How should we handle this? Should we take them both? Should we take them both? Son of a gun. Why does that got to happen? I've only wanted to do one. All right. I can't say no when they fall out. I can't because it's not right. So we're going to get one of these, hopefully, because that was the goal. Okay. <laughs> Remember I was saying follow your own path? Believe in yourself. I just got done saying believe in yourself. Believe in your heart, okay? Whatever your heart says. Oh, boy. Separation. Heart chakra. Uh -huh. This does not make sense, but then again, it never does, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, but it does. It does. It does. It just came to me. Oh, boy separation time apart from your partners on the horizon for many of you you've been deceiving yourself by staying in a situation that you don't want to be in okay that's the story heart chakra love is the heart of the matter your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love it's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. Follow your heart, please. Stop deceiving yourself. Follow your heart, please. Follow your own path. That's when true love will come in, true love. When you can honor your heart, that's when your true love will come. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And that doesn't mean it's a past lover, I have to tell you. This can be somebody from a past life and you will feel familiar with them. This can also be somebody from your childhood that you didn't date, okay? It can be. Someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? So. This is what I have for you, Virgo, for the week of November 20th through November 26th. I really feel like this week is about honoring your path, following your heart. And that's what this week is about. Talk to you later, Virgo.